Whether on remand or convicted, working is just part of the Luzira Women's Prisons program. It's not seen as a punishment, but part of a rehabilitation process to empower the women with skills and knowledge. Once locked behind the curtain walls, the inmates don't have a choice but to abide with the rules. There is no prisoner who comes here and doesn't work. So some of them end up working in the tailoring section, others craft section, others in the saloon. Some of them come when they're professional. So when you ask them, what were you doing before you came to prison? They're like, maybe I was a tailor. That one automatically will come to the tailoring section. Most of the women prefer the art and craft section. Here, they are trained to make different handcrafts, including mats, hats, and baskets. This session begins immediately after breakfast. There's a roll call to ensure that everyone is present. So they are supposed to work on a daily basis, Monday to Friday, and as we normally have staff work with them, and apart from the staff, they have leaders among them. Jessica Mwanguzi has been in prison for only three months. After overcoming her trauma, she has embraced art and craft. I came without knowing to make a mat or a bag, but I've benefited like getting sugar out of it, soap, and other things like making my hair in the salon. You see, I'm looking better. Just like other inmates, she sells her products to visitors and prison staff. This money is however not given to the inmates directly. It's handed over to the in-charge and it is deposited on one's account. Within the three months, I'll, I have made like 11 or 15. Yeah. They buy it. Muanguzi says she has been transformed into a better person and she's optimistic of a brighter future. I got back a changed person really. And uh, we tell the people outside there that Luzila is not a bad place. You go there to learn and to get something new when you are out there. Tailoring is one of the rehabilitation programs here at the Luzira Women's Prison. And all uniforms worn by female inmates across the country are made by these women. But most importantly, they began from the arts and crafts section. So as to widen their skills best to have an alternative when they get out of prison. The inmates in this section often work for extra hours. They have to make uniforms for other inmates in all prisons in Uganda. When they make uniforms, they get the skills, but they also get benefit of getting some more uniforms for themselves. It's here where we found Lydia Atim Draru, a woman who was convicted of manslaughter for killing her lover, the former army commander, Major General James Kazini, in November 2009. As she serves her 14-year jail sentence, Dwaru is one of the leaders in this section. Many of these inmates have developed their expertise after months of training. The training has created a bonding spirit and has turned them into a closely knit family. Solomon Serwanja, NTV. Thank you.